Okay guys, so before we get started, just make sure you watch my previous video which discusses what kind of hardware and setup you need to get started making music and I show you which setups I have both in my bedroom and in my garage. So if you guys already watched that or if you already know what you guys need, just continue watching. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a quick song in Pro Tools to record in, how to get started, you know, putting the beat in and laying down some vocals. So first thing you want to do is open up your Pro Tools. Now, when the screen pops up, you got to make sure you're doing things the right way. But I'm going to show you this one time and you'll probably, you won't have to worry about it ever again. So if you get this, just ignore it, put no. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to create. Make sure this is on session. Because if not, project is like some online type of thing. But you don't want to worry about that. It's just session. Uh, type in the name of it. If you have a template, this is cool. But if you don't, just don't, just uncheck it. So that's Okay, basically if you follow along with this, you don't need a template or none of that. So just hit create. Now the first thing you're gonna do is just enlarge this window. Anything else is not gonna matter. The first thing you wanna do is just go to track, new, make a mono uh, audio track. Let's do like, uh, let's do two of them for now. And hit create, you're gonna get two audio tracks. This, these are where you're gonna be recording your vocals into these tracks right here. So then, what you want to do after that is get your beat in. So we're going to find a beat right here, desktop. We'll just go wherever you have your beats downloaded, just drag something in. Okay, so when you drag your beat in, make sure you're dragging it into this gray area. Don't drag it in over here because that's going to mess things up. Just drag it into where there's no tracks, so a blank area. You're gonna get that, but you, as you notice, it's gonna be like off-centered. So you're gonna go to this hand. This hand right here is how you drag things, how you move things around. So you're just gonna wanna drag it all the way to the left. That's it, you're basically set up now. So all you wanna do is you wanna select this and when you click on the track, when you click within Pro Tools, this shows you where you're gonna start recording, okay? But since we're gonna start from the beginning of the beat, just hit this button, just like, you know, this button, and we're gonna start there. So the first thing you wanna do is go to one of these audio tracks and make sure your interface is set up, of course. So right here, we got the Focusrite. We got the Focusrite ASIO. Hold on, I need to change this. If if you want to hear yourself record, make sure this is set to 256. Don't go lower than that. But 256 is where there's no lag. If you have it above the 256, there's gonna be a lag in your headphones, and you're not, you're just not gonna like it. So the first thing you want to do, well, the next thing you want to do now is go to your ins and outs, select this and make sure it's on input one. Also, if you don't have this, make sure you click this little button right here and select, make sure all of these are checked, basically. Just make sure all of these are checked because that's gonna give you the input output menu. So you're gonna go to input, go to input one, whatever your mic is plugged into on the interface and just hit this record enable button so now when you talk in the mic, now when if you talk into the mic, it's going to be popping up. Pro Tools is going to be picking it up. And the next thing you want to do is just hit this. This this enables recording to whatever audio track you have on. Whatever track you have record enabled on, that's the track that's going to be recorded onto. So let's just do this. 
I just recorded some BS into this track. So basically, you're gonna hit play, play and stop to be recording. When you hit stop, it stops all the recording, and you gotta play it back like this. But make sure this is not on, because if this is on, you're gonna record over this. Like you're gonna erase this and record on top of it. So make sure it's off if you want to just hear what you did. as you can see it picked up my voice we got things going the next thing you want to do okay let's say I stopped right here but I want to keep recording like I want to punch in you know the way to do that is make sure you click over here and hit record again okay keyboard shortcut is alt Hold down Alt and roll your mouse wheel up to zoom in. Or zoom in right here, this little button. Because you want to you want to see things precisely. So if I'm right here, you hit record and go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. This can be a problem though because you don't have enough time to catch yourself up. So you're going to be like, wait, I need more time. That's where this comes in. It's called pre-roll. Just don't get overwhelmed by this. Just follow what I do because it's actually really simple. Go to window, transport. Okay, look, this is not scary at all. These, these are the same buttons that are right here. The only thing we have extra is this pre-roll thing. So if you highlight this, you can type in how many seconds you want of pre-roll before you actually start recording. So if I said this if I set it at four, it's gonna play the beat four seconds behind where I actually want to record so that I have time to get in. So that I have time to catch up type of thing. This yellow flag is where the pre-roll starts and the red arrow is where the recording starts. So you can move it like this, just clicking. But if I wanted to start right here again, have pre-roll enabled, and do the same thing. See, so that gave me time to catch up. And the reason why I have two audio tracks is because sometimes in your raps you have bars or you have you know you have bars that overlap each other sometimes like transitioning fading in or you have ad libs or you have doubles so you need to make a whole new track you can't you know double vocals on the same track you have to make two which is why I have audio one and audio two so say I did audio two and I can start recording again but this time for example like I could do ad libs or something Okay, look, that was the mistake. I had input two on. You got to make sure it's on the mic one, input one. Redo. See, I just recorded some ad libs. You can hear them now. Now I'm going to show you something else real quick. This selector tool that we have enabled, this selector tool right now, you can use it to highlight and delete things. So if I didn't like something, you know, you just delete it. This tool right here is a trimmer. So basically you can trim the ends of your clips. And this helps a lot when it's getting precise. Like when I want to take out all the noise except for what I did, use the trimmer tool. It's, it's very easy. So basically the only thing you're going to do when you record is switch through these three tools and that's it. It's honestly that easy. 
of course it's important when you start mixing to use effects and things and to make sure the tempo right here is set to the actual tempo of the beat but you know these are things you learn over time or you look up other YouTube tutorials for because it gets a little bit more complicated but let me guys let me know if this helped you guys out and I might even I might do more tutorials on this like I might show you step two on how to make good sounding music on Pro Tools but for now this is all you need to do and if you want to have like multiple ad-lib tracks or like multiple doubles or whatever just always make more tracks right here track new mono make sure it's always mono audio tracks you can make as many as you want and just keep on recording layering over each other if that's what you like or whatever that's basically it and of course if you want to uh if you want to export your track make sure you go to file bounce to disk don't use export because i don't know that that doesn't work bounce to disk make sure you know you get the file you want mostly mp3 turn this to interleaved every time and don't mess with any other settings that's it and of course choose where you want it to be on your computer laptop but make sure these are the settings you use to export unless you want to wave just change it to wave but yep you're gonna hit bounce and that's it so that's it for this that's gonna be it for this tutorial guys if I helped you out, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what what more you guys want to see. Because it's really not that hard to make music. I'm trying to help everybody out. Just uh, working from home, you know, making music, making bangers. Also, if you guys don't have Pro Tools, if you guys need help getting it, uh, hit me up on Instagram at westax one because anybody can get Pro Tools. And I mean anybody. No matter how broke you are. If you don't have a dollar to your name. You can still get Pro Tools. Hit me up on Westax1. Instagram at Westax1. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Westax out.